I'm going to tell you guys about the absolute best part about the Novak Tennis Center and I think it's going to surprise you guys because it has actually nothing to do with tennis. Before we get into the video, I just want to tell you guys if you're out there shopping for any tennis gear, make sure you guys check out my link in the pinned comment below to the Racket Guys. They have great deals on all the tennis gear that you guys are shopping for. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So it's been a little while since my last video and so where I've been, I've been to Serbia and I've been to Italy. I've actually taken my honeymoon and I got married in 2020 so I didn't get a chance to go anywhere. But finally, my wife and I got a chance to explore the world a little bit, go and enjoy our honeymoon. And so we went to Serbia and we went to Italy. And as you guys saw in the thumbnail, one of the places that we actually stopped in Belgrade and Serbia was at the Novak Tennis Center. And I wanted to share a little bit with you guys a little bit about what that experience was like. I also wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what it's like when people outside of Serbia go to visit, what it's like to arrange a court time, what the coaching system is like there, and hopefully give you guys a little bit more knowledge in case that's somewhere that you guys maybe want to go down the road. So starting off first with a little tour of the actual facility, one of the reasons that the Novak Tennis Center is a place that every tennis fan should go is because of all the available amenities that they have for tennis players. They have a whole bunch of tennis courts, so it's not a problem getting a court time. That's actually one of the most impressive things that I found. I thought, you know, being the Novak Tennis Center, it was going to be all booked up. It was going to be really hard to find a court to play on, and it's going to be hard to get some court time. But it was actually really easy because they have so many courts, it was not a problem getting a court time. Even when my wife and I showed up spontaneously without a pre booking, we had no problem, no issue getting a court right there on the spot. Going to the Novak Tennis Center has been on my bucket list. It's one of the places. I wanted to go. Some others include going to all four Grand Slams, going to the Nadal Academy, but going to the Novak Center was definitely up there. As you guys can see with some of my new decor, I am Serbian and so going to the Novak Tennis Center was something special and something I really wanted to do for a long time. So I actually called and tried to arrange with them pretty far in advance. I actually reached out to them a month in advance to see for a court time because I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get a court. I thought it was going to be super busy since there are many pros that train there and a lot of the Serbian juniors, a lot of them train at the Novak Tennis Center. So I was worried that maybe I would have to book really far in advance. But they actually let me know over email that it wasn't necessary and to just wait till I actually got to Serbia and to message them then to arrange a court time. Now, when I finally got there, there was a little bit of back and forth with trying to arrange a court time. And it seemed that going through the emails is not the best way to do it, but rather just go in person and arrange a time. Because as I found out, it's actually not that difficult to get a court. Because the Novak Tennis Center has so many tennis courts, as a matter of fact, they have 14 tennis courts. 11 of which are clay courts and three of which are hard courts. So you can play on hard court, you can play on clay court, but it's definitely gonna be a lot easier to find a play time on a clay court since they have a lot more of those available. So now that I told you a little bit of a backstory as to how we actually got to the Novak Tennis Center and how we arranged our court time, let me tell you a little bit about what their facility is actually like. There's a little bit of something for everybody when you go to the Novak Tennis Center, whether you're a hardcore player, an advanced player, competitive player, or a beginner or maybe you're just somebody who's out to have a good time, there's a little bit of something for everyone. They have a really nice restaurant there that overlooks the clay courts as well as the hard courts. So if you're just looking to have a nice lunch, you can actually go there and it's totally fine. It seems like getting a reservation isn't a problem since it's mostly the tennis players that go there. So it's a nice place to have lunch or even have dinner if that's something you wanted to do. Now, in terms of the actual facility itself, like I said, they have 14 tennis courts, so a ton of tennis courts, always all kinds of levels and different types of players. So if you wanted to watch tennis, it's actually a great place to watch tennis as well because you're usually going to be able to spot some top level juniors or even if you're lucky you might see some pros going through there because I know Vasic Pospisil for example he goes there often and if you're lucky you might spot some Serbian pros there like Dusan Lajevic, Filip Krajinovic who do train there pretty often or if you're super lucky you might see Novak himself there because he'll often go back and train there when he's in between tournaments. Another cool thing about the Novak Tennis Center is that they host an ATP 250 event there which is the Serbia Open. It's hosted right there at the Novak Tennis Center. Since the Serbia Open happened been not that long before we went they still had a lot of the display pieces up like the back windbreaker along the edges of the fence still displayed all the serbia open logos so that was really cool to see as well and since the nets and courts are official to the atp tour they have the atp tour symbol and if you're playing on court one on the clay court it has a nice belgrade belgrad sign right there when you're playing so it's really cool to be playing on the same courts that many pro players have been playing on as well feels really special 
Now inside the facility itself, like I said, there's a restaurant, but there's also really nice amenities. There's an outdoor cafe as well as super clean and tidy change rooms with everything that you need available, including showers. One thing I definitely recommend is if you go to their cafe, make sure you guys try the raspberry juice because Serbia is known for being one of the largest producers of raspberries in the world. So that's probably the freshest item that you guys are gonna find there. And it tastes absolutely delicious. That's something I know that we don't have here in Canada is to have pure raspberry juice fresh like that so make sure you guys check that out that's something that's a Serbian specialty so don't miss that one they also have great world-class coaching available I actually booked a hitting session with one of the coaches there his name was Branislav I had a great time with him he speaks a bunch of different languages I'm pretty sure he speaks French he spoke English to us and he speaks Serbian as well and they have other coaches that speak other languages because they have so many international players coming through so it's really nice to know that so many different people can come and have a good time and actually be able to communicate in their own language because that's kind of their specialty is having people come from abroad and actually stay there and train. So Branislav was a super professional coach. As soon as we got on the court, he asked me what I wanted to work on. We had a great warm up session where we played a little bit of mini court. I explained to him that one of the things I was working on was to be a little bit more aggressive and to hit my forehand a little bit flatter, try to take advantage and try to end points with that forehand. So he came up with some drills for me to practice. One of them, as you guys can see here, was to get into a cross court rally where I can hit a consistent forehand cross court. And then as soon as I sense an opportunity with the ball being short or sitting up a little higher to go with a flat shot, a powerful shot down the line to try to end the point. So that was the drill that I was working on here. And then following that drill, what we did was he wanted me to implement that in a more match-like situation. He actually talked to me and consulted with me to see what drills I wanted to do. He offered his input and we came up with this one here, which was the serve plus one to try to implement that forehand taking control of the rally. We did it off my serve where I would serve like I said, try to control the ball. And we also did it off of the return. So me trying to get into the rally and then see if I can take advantage with a forehand. So really great thought out drills, perfect for what I was trying to work on and a really professional approach. He was super friendly the entire time, very easy to work with. He was encouraging, but also gave great tips and feedback, which is what we want from a coach. If you're planning to spend a longer amount of time there and maybe a little bit more training there, they also have a really awesome workout facility that is just adjacent to the tennis courts. So you can have a great workout in, hit the court, hit the showers, and then go to the restaurant after. So it's kind of a great central hub for tennis players and a great place to train, especially if you're preparing for a tournament or something like that. You have all the amenities you need for your training and your preparation all in one place. So it makes it super convenient. I'm gonna tell you guys about the absolute best part about the Novak Tennis Center. And I think it's gonna surprise you guys because it has actually nothing to do with tennis. The best part about the Novak Tennis Center is actually where it's located. It's located very central in Belgrade and it's super close to everything that you're gonna to want to visit as a tourist. It's actually located right beside the Kalamegdan Fortress, which is probably the biggest tourist attraction in Belgrade. This was a fortress which was occupied by the ancient Romans, occupied by the Ottoman Empire, occupied by the Austrian Empire. So it has a ton of history. Like I said, it's located super close, only a 10 minute walk away from the tennis court. So it's in a great location and it's super close to downtown Belgrade as well. So you'll have access to all kinds of great restaurants, and great events that are happening in downtown in the biggest city in Serbia. The best part of the Novak Tennis Center is actually going and then experiencing that Serbian culture in Belgrade. That's what I would say is the absolute best part about actually going there. Now I want to share a little bit of an extra clip with you guys. So when we were in Serbia, it was right after Novak won Wimbledon. So the day after he won, he actually brought the trophy back to Belgrade. So of course you guys know being in Belgrade and being a huge Novak fan like I am, I had to go and see, I had to go to the assembly there and see him give his speech. So it was super cool. And I wanted to just share a couple of clips from that with you guys, because as tennis fans, I'm sure you guys would appreciate that too. So here you go. Woo! 
And just to wrap it up, guys, both my wife and I had a great time at the Novak Tennis Center. She's a beginner player, and there was a lot for her to enjoy there. I'm an advanced player, and I had a great time as well, even with the coaching session. So I definitely recommend that you guys go check it out. Hopefully, the Novak Tennis Center is going to be on your list of tennis places to go to, and hopefully you're going to get a chance to experience a little bit about my home country, about Serbia there, because it's a really special place and definitely somewhere that you guys should go visit. And of course, guys, if you guys have any questions for me about what it was like at the Novak Tennis Center, or if you have questions about it, Make sure you guys drop that comment below. And also, what are the top tennis bucket list destinations that are on your list? Can't wait to hear from you guys. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and keep swinging.